WKRG is your local election headquarters with just 13 weeks to go until the presidential election. People in downtown Mobile rallied together in an effort to get others excited about voting in the fall. WKRG News 5's Haley Kennedy takes us to Mardi Gras Park. The beat of the drum, shaking the field full of voters in Mardi Gras Park. Come November, I will be voting. Alabama Forward and Stand Up Mobile hosting a rally to encourage people, no matter which political party, to just show up and vote in the 2024 election. The impact could be positive or negative. Um, there's a lot of legislation, a lot of judicial de uh, decisions coming down from the Supreme Court that have been rolling back the progress that has been made in our country. And so we would like to see our country continue to progress forward um, towards uh, the betterment of all and fair and equity. This is the first election season that Mobile will be separated into two congressional districts. Alabama Forward helped fight for the Allen versus Milligan case that made the recent congressional district map redrawing possible, creating a majority black voting district. The first opportunity really for their voices to be heard and um, elect a candidate of their choosing. This rally is full of some music vendors and organizations educating those who are walking by. Angela Curry is with United Women of Color from Huntsville, and she says that it is more important now than ever for everyone to set aside their differences. We are seeing a lot of divisiveness. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. It is really important for us to demonstrate harmony. All while learning about the candidates on the ballot and what they stand for. We are literally the bosses of the people that we send to Capitol Hill. And so it's important because everything that we do in our lives is affected by government. Our cell phones, the water we drink, the cars that we drive. So it's very important for us to know who is running, why they're running. Reporting in Mobile, Haley Kennedy, WKRG News 5.